Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's Asian and Ninja here today. My dude, to the brand new episode of I didn't mean to do that. Auto run has been enabled. I didn't. That's a thing. Just okay. So you just run all the time. I don't have to hold B anymore. That's actually fantastic. I. How did I not know that was a thing? Anyway, here today, my dudes, <laughs> with a brand new episode of our Pokemon Radical Red Nuzlocke here on the Asian and Ninja channel. Now today. My dudes, I have a very special present for you guys. I am exhausted. <laughs> I am. My sleep schedule is messed up. I am struggling right now. My brain broke, full broke. Um, but as long as I'm not sleeping, I figured I might as well be productive. And I'm sleepy, so I'm loopy, a little crazy, and that might be entertaining to you guys. So we're here. We're going to try to take on Brock today. It, it might be a bad idea. It actually really might be a bad idea. But it's okay. Because we got a positive attitude. Right, chat? Just comment section. We, I, there's no chat. I'm not streaming right now. I need to stream soon. That Why did... Okay. You know what? Bad time for realizations. Anyway, we're going to kick it off with a quick team recap. Starting with... Over easy, the execute, the coral for chlorophyll ability, rock in the moves, bullet seed, side beam, leech seed, and reflect. Last but not least, I don't know why I backed that out of the way. We have good old Squirtle, rock and torrent, in the moves, water pulse, bubble, tackle, and rapid spin. And that's the team moving forward. Those two Pokemon, that's all we got. So I'm going to skip this kid because we don't get any more XP anyway. There's no point. And we're going to say a quick prayer. Because uh, after the last episode, if you guys missed that, first off, go back and check that out. Link right here across my face is in an iCard, as well as a link in the description to the playlist of this series. But if you've missed the last episode, it was a doozy. A lot happened. And in the comment section of the last episode, I was suggested that I actually check, do a little bit of research, see what I'm up against in the near future. And on Discord, my boy Tristan linked... Uh, the Reddit uh, Reddit page talking about a bunch of the changes and how the game works and what you can expect and what you're going to need and this game is, is is very different very very different than your standard Pokemon game so I'm expecting this um, to be a problem actually I'm fully fully expecting this to be a problem I'm hoping for the best and I'm, I'm not going to throw I'm going to try my best but I'm expecting this to be a problem. So I'm with that. So, you're here. I'm Brock, I'm Peter's gym leader. My rock hard willpower is evident even in my Pokemon. My Pokemon are all rock hard, just like me. And have true grit determination. That's right, my Pokemon are all rock types. You're a liar, actually. Uh, <laughs> You're going to challenge me knowing that you'll lose? That's the trainer's honor that compels you to challenge me. Fine then, show me your best. Yeah, that's something else I found out. This man is a liar, actually. I saw uh, his team while I was looking online for some information. Liar, absolute liar. Leader Brock, he's going to lead with a Geodude. That just so happens to be partially electric type, which is why we didn't leave the Squirtle. Overeasy's out here. Just gonna save the day, hopefully. We're gonna go for a reflect off the rip. Because this man likes to go boom. Information. Information is the key. So, next we're gonna see uh, a lie. We're gonna see a lie, is what we're gonna see, actually. That's a Vulpix. See, that's a fire type, not rock type. Even, Not even a little bit. In fact, um, so here's where things start to get a little bit dicey because this Vulpix also happens to have hidden power, grass or electric. I'm not sure which one it is. Um, all I know is that it's not going to be fun for us to deal with, with a water type. So we can swap into Goodle, take the fire type attack, and then we have to try and take the electric type attack or... We can let Over Easy go down and hope Goodle can tank two electro type or two hidden powers back to back. 
that's the situation we're in right now. And I'm thinking the best chance of survival here for Goodall is if we use over easy to go for a leech seed. Now hear me out. If because so Goodall has an orange berry on him, so does over easy. So if by some miracle I don't get KO'd by a fire type attack right here, over easy gets the lead seed down. Over easy goes down next turn. We swap into Goodall. Goodall takes an electro type attack or the electro type in power. Gets his berry, gets the lead seed for recovery. And that should leave me with enough to live a second one. If need be. And I'm hoping we don't need to. But that's the strategy. Let's see how it plays out. Incinerate? Of course. Fire type attack expected. We live? Orin Barry's burnt up. That's fine. Lead seed goes down. It's going it's going exactly to plan right now, actually. Lead seed goes down. Does he decide to switch attacks right now? No, incinerate. That's fine. Over easy, I love you. You would have been really cool to have an executor, but you really yes you're might be saving the lock here. I spent I sat here last night before bed strategizing. Try I, I read through the files. I, I read yeah, you know, I read through the files. I, I went through all the options. I sat here strategizing. So this this is what I came up with. This is the best strategy I came up with. And even this has a very low chance of success. But we're gonna hope for the best. Because we're gonna go for a water pulse right here. And considering that chip damage it's down, I think might be enough. I lied to you all, actually. Goodle, Goodle does not have the uh, abilities that I thought that he did, in fact. Um, but that's fine, because for some reason he went for a fire type attack off the rip. Which means I absolutely have what it takes to live this ancient uh, hidden power right now. Easy peasy. Water Pulse comes out. Vulpix is donezo. Now, the problem is we have 15 HP to deal with two more Pokemon. Reflect wears off. We see an Archon come out. That's going to outspeed me. Does it do enough though? We're pretty defensive. Of course it does. I mean, everything went right. Every, everything went right there, except for the low roll on the water pulse. That water pulse. I did the calculations. I actually sat here and looked at a move calculator, and I did the calculations. And I had a. What was the math? I think it, I think it was doing it was doing between sixty five and ninety five percent for full health. And we got the low roll. On the, on the Vulpix. So. Wow. This might be the shortest Nuzlocke episode in history, actually. I can't. Hold on. Yeah, hold on. Wait a second. 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 So it's. Wait. Hold on. We've lost. This wait, wait, hold on. We've lost. We've lost. We've lost. My brain was still in battle mode. I hold on. I hadn't. I hadn't. They hadn't processed yet that. Shoot. Um. That's a. That's a bit of a, a bit of a problem, actually, isn't it? Um, <sighs> what do we do now? What do we wait? Hold on. What do we do now? Oh, 
It locks. Wait. The locks. The locks over. That's it. It's done. It's official. It's over. Dunzo. Tried our best. What could we have done differently? Not losing our Pokemon to a bird type trainer would have been a really good start to not losing the lock right there, but even just given what we had. I think we played it I think we played it the way we needed to. We got the reflect up. We lived we lived. Very very uh, by the skin of our teeth we lived. We got the leech seed down. It allowed Squirtle to take out the Vulpix. And then we had Archon. And then we had a Pokemon after that that I don't remember what it was. I just, I just remember the I just remember the Vulpix because I was like, what? That's not. Um, what? What do we? What, um, we don't have any speed boosting. We're going to get we we're going to get outsped no matter what. Execute wasn't going to outspeed. Squirtle was way faster than Execute, and Squirtle got outsped. I think the low roll. Evil, even the low, no, I, no. We know what? Actually, I think the low roll on the water pulse is what really did it in for us. Because if we had not low rolled and gotten that KO, then we would have been sitting at about 80, 80 to eighty-five percent of our HP. No, yeah, we would have been 80, 80 to eighty-five percent of our HP left. And we absolutely could have taken that pluck. I actually, I actually really think it came down to the to the RNG. I think the low roll did us in. Oh, that sucks. <sighs> well, I was warned about this. I mean. It, going going in blind I, from what I understand as, as I read the reddit post going in blind on this game is absolutely not the way to go um, you should play through the game first once if you want to try to do a nuzlocke but really the game's challenging enough on its own you don't need to nuzlocke it like it's it's made it's a ROM hack made to be challenging so it might have been a better idea for us to just actually play through the game, just a, a normal LP on the channel to get kind of back into the the move, the flow of Pokemon content creation. I mean, it's been a while. So that probably would have been the best play, to be honest, kind of get back into it, understanding the game, understanding the content flow, all that kind of stuff, because... Wow. Wow. I, I did it. I did it. I completed the Nuzlocke, though. The question that I have on my mind right now, though, and that I want to raise you guys. Like I said, this game is made to be challenging. It's challenging on its own without the Nuzlocke rules. Do we either restart as a non-Nuzlocke playthrough, or alternatively, we're still very early in the game. We haven't even beaten the first gym yet. Just continue and I will just, I can call the series like Radical Red Post Nuzlocke or something and just kind of continue the game as, as, um, as its own thing and then maybe start up a, another Nuzlocke so we can have a Nuzlocke still on the channel and then just kind of play this slowly, kind of play through it, you know, uh, an episode a week or something. And that'll kind of help break up the content a little bit too so that it's not all just one game. So like, for example, uh, I've been wanting. I've been trying to mess around with Citro again. We could try and do a Gen like six playthrough. You know, we could do X and Y, or we can do we could even do Sun and Moon. I can figure out either either figure out how to randomize them, or see if I can download a randomized version from somewhere and play through that for you guys. As our like maybe Monday Friday uploads, and then every Wednesday maybe we can have the post the post nuzlocke of radical red to just kind of play through the game experience the game and then maybe next year or in two years or whatever once the game's kind of died from people's memories try to nuzlocke it
alt I mean the other option, the other alternative option is that we could stream this game. Maybe. On the weekends or something. Although I do like the idea of having our content broken up. And our content varying a little bit. It wouldn't it wouldn't even be like us two Nuzlocks on the channel. It'd be a Nuzlocke and just an L a regular LP. A more chill, laid back LP. I can even make these episodes longer. If we're just doing an LP, I could sit down and record for an hour. An hour long episode LP. Because LPs aren't super popular anyway. It's not like an LP would be for the algorithm. And then the Nuzlocke could be for the algorithm and you know, playing through that challenge mode, whatever. Like, I'm just spitballing here, obviously. If you guys have other ideas, feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. But I... I'm not gonna cheat. I sat down to record. I recorded. This happened. Now it's October. But I really want to play through the game. So I'm gonna leave it up to you guys. You want to see it? You want to see NLP? Just a regular casual LP of this game. Do you want to pick it up here? Do you want it to start over? Do you want us to stream it? I want to know what you guys think in the comment section down below, please. But I think with that, we're going to wrap it up. I'm going to end this video here. I'm just kind of, like I said, I'm really tired. My brain's having trouble processing the fact that the Nuzlocke's over, but I really don't want the game to be over. I want to play through the game. I mean, even if you guys don't want to see it, I'm going to play through the game. I just, I'm hoping to share the experience with you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. As short as it was. I mean, now I've been talking for 10 minutes, so it's, it's about the same length as normal, but if you've made it this far, I really want to know your opinions. And with that, I'm gonna wrap it up here. I'm gonna, I guess, get started on some channel or some art for an upcoming for whatever series I'm gonna do next. I'm gonna figure it out. Um, I mean, it probably won't start till next week, so you guys can leave comments down below for what games you want to see. I'll, I'll start working on the art and see what I can pull together. But with that, I'm gonna get out of here. Hopefully, you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. I know this is uh, kind of a, a letdown, and I'm sorry, but I'm hoping that overall it's going to be for the best, because I this was going to not be a fun way to experience the game, I think. From, well, from what I understand. I'm sorry, though. I really, I tried. I really did. I sat down. I strategized. I tried. I, my brain, I, I sat here. I calculated. I proper calculated. But... With that, I'm going to get out of here. Hopefully you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. And I'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace.